Okay, we're back. This is part four. Um, here are the remaining variants that have not been executed. I'll try to run this load file and see what happens. As you can see, our firewall has kicked in, saying it was trying to access the Win32 services. SVC host right here. All right, we're going to tell it no. Uh, once again, layer defense kicks in and does a good job going to scan this file with ESET. ESET says it's fine. Scan with Previx. Appears Previx does not like the file. I'm telling it to uh, clean the file off. And Previx needs a reboot. And uh, we'll start off again whenever we come back up on Windows. We're coming back up, and I believe Previx will kick in and do a scan. Oh, we got something that actually kind of got through here. Hopefully, um, our firewall will stop this leak right here from going out to the internet to download itself. Must read every security software. Okay. As you can see, attempt file just got smoked off by ESET. And our firewall, uh, we got something trying to do a DNS resolve here. Uh, that attempt file blocked it. Um, ESET is eating stuff off of the startup. Another attempt file uh, trying to access the internet. Uh, we're going to block that. We got we got something doing trying to do more DNS uh, resol resolves here. Tons of files we see it trying to go out here once again with ESET. Um, tons of stuff. Some of the files are cleaned or unlocked. I'm going to tell I don't want to reboot right now. And we got an unknown application trying to um, basically bind to the SVC host so it can go out to the internet telling it no, telling it no. More stuff trying to go out, um, tell it no. As you can see, ESIT did need some help there and some stuff has jumped through to the startup let's go in here and use a 32-bit registry editor and I want to look myself at some uh, entries here. Look through my software. Um, go to the Microsoft. I'm going to go to Windows. Current version. Come down to the run area. Um, as we can see, these two entries are malware, um, winhelp.exe, um, this, this, uh, msx, that's, that's malware, um, I'm seeing a lot of crap get by, to be honest with you, it's kind of discouraging. Um, 
yeah there's just I can see a lot of uh, a lot of stuff here now I'm gonna look at my each key your current user I'm gonna come in here and look around um, look in the software This is my current user profile. As you can see, ESET is just going insane right here. And it looks like this area is clean. Look at all these threats. Tons of them, huh? Um gonna do a cleanup. It's getting a workout, my friends. As you can see, it's a bunch of root kits. Um Telling me to please save a work, close all running programs, disconnect all plug and play devices. Click OK. Previx is coming here and helping out ESET. So we see, if you see the activity on this uh, right here, we're just having random files being generated by something that's in memory. And we just had a reboot of the machine. You can see, man, guys, this is some nasty stuff right here. So, if you're not doing it in a protected environment, if you're doing this on a your own machine, uh, you're crazy. More stuff has been. Uh, taken off the desktop. Let's see if those files load back up that I showed from the registry a while ago. It might be some zombie still records in the registry. See those entries are still still there. Um, we got a scan going on here. Still got a couple of extra processes running. So what activity we got going on here in the firewall? We've had some application blocking aspects kicking in through the firewall too. We get a general overview of uh, everything, all the connections, all the ports. Basic net BIOS ports. Okay. Nothing looking crazy listening on a high high port or anything trying to dial out leaking out to the internet so that's a good sign I'm gonna start a new video